important day uh, today is a important day uh, evening I will be robe offering and presentation of books uh, as you all know that is one of the uh, main event of library activities uh, robes offering when I talk about robes offering I think uh, certain important things come to my mind uh, incident uh, because of an incident happened during the Buddha's time I'm thinking of talking about that important thing uh, so I want to talk about recycling Recycling, long ago recycling was poor man's work, huh? poor people, not that they appreciate, they were forced to do recycling, huh? uh, or some people even, uh, I think, even did not have things to change every now and then. then uh, world has changed. Uh, we have gone to the other extreme. Huh? Keep on changing, keep on throwing things and uh, uh, it has become a big problem. The most unfortunate thing is uh, main, some culprits are from poor countries poor country, people from poor countries, uh, in other words, the word poor country is not so good, huh? we can say less developed or undeveloped countries, if not can say developing countries, uh, they are wasting more things, uh, they pay less attention towards uh, recycling. Anyway, the throwing things, wasting things, uh, using or consuming more and more things has bringing the world towards and dead dead. Uh, we are not so far from that. Uh, and. Uh, I think I have read the water level of the sea in this area also going up and Singapore has to prepare for that. Huh? It is not only here in many countries. Uh, in Sri Lanka, uh, the land is washed by a very strong current of the sea. Uh, these things are happening. Everybody talks about that, but less actions are taken. Uh, in Sri Lanka today, we have a very serious problem uh, because of uh, waste, wasting of things. Uh, I personally face this problem in our temple. Uh, every day uh, we have to collect at least medium sized lorry load of rubbish. Uh, people throw so much in the temple. Uh, uh, I don't know whether they purposely use temple for that purpose or not. Uh, uh, we have to keep a separate place for that and so much. 
then the town council people, if town council people don't come one day, so much uh, bad smell and problems. Uh, people have the habit of leaving many things in the temple. Uh, last few months when I was there, I was trying to tell people, even we put up some uh, notices, that doesn't work. Huh? The culture cannot be changed. Uh, very difficult, especially culture in Sri Lanka, culture in India and neighbor countries of India. Very difficult to change. Huh? Uh, then uh, we have this problem uh, because we use too many things. When we use too many things, we have too many things to throw away also. Huh? If we don't too many things and lead, try to lead a, a simple uh, life, uh, we have to throw away less things. Then this uh, rubbish problem won't be so serious. Uh, unfortunately, many people are not remembering and not paying attention towards this problem. Uh, so uh, recycling somewhere there we can say recycling has become very important. Uh, during the Buddha's time, Buddha has encouraged simplicity, simple life, uh, things to be used, things to use as long as we can. Huh? But now it is, it is not a very good thing to tell people. Huh? People may not be happy. Uh, one incident, when I say I want to talk about recycling, I would like to talk about one event or incident uh, happened in, during the Buddha's time. There were many, many teaching in Buddhist teaching, Buddha's teaching related to recycling, but one very, very clear incident I would like to mention to you. Some of you may have read, some of you may have learned it. Uh, that incident related to Venerable Ananda. Uh, you all know Venerable Ananda is the chief assistant of the Buddha. Uh, and, uh, you know, we are doing robe suffering. In actual fact, Venerable Ananda is the designer of the robe which we are using. Huh? Of course, he did it with the advice of the Buddha. Uh, during the Buddha's time, monks travel, uh, more than present day monks travel. Huh? That's a good excuse me for me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they are called wandering, uh, wandering people, wander place to place. Uh, so when they go different places, wash robes and hang outside, uh, one they fa face some problems. One of the problems was very poor people, they got nothing to do with Buddhism, they knew nothing about Buddhism, they had no any special respect or contact with monks. So those poor people, they used to steal uh, robes to make uh, some dresses and some other items. Uh, so about this, when monks complain to the Buddha, the Buddha has called Venerable Ananda and asked Venerable Ananda to design a robe. Uh, it will be useless for people who steal. Uh -huh. They cannot use for almost for any any purpose, anything. 
So Venerable Ananda went to a field, paddy field. Huh? Paddy field, the paddy field design. Buddha asked him to go and see it. So Venerable Ananda see the paddy field of Magadha kingdom, Magadha country. He went to see the paddy field and noted the design of paddy field, went back and he designed the rope and asked monks to prepare their rope uh, based on the paddy field of uh, Magadha. Uh, in the paddy field there are many uh, many sections separated from some certain lines. So when we make a rope also, uh, if we follow that style, we have to cut into quite a number of pieces and join. So cut to quite smaller pieces and join, then we make the rope. So small pieces cannot be used for a decent dress. Huh? So people uh, did not steal. Huh? So that is one of the reasons. Uh, so Venerable Ananda linked with that design. He linked with uh, another incident which uh, is linking with uh, recycling. Uh, Venerable Ananda was a very good preacher, very popular and pleasant preacher. He preached the Dhamma very well. So, uh, once King Kosala approached the Buddha and uh, asked the Buddha to help uh, to arrange a preacher to his, the word consort or the ladies in the palace. Huh? There were many, uh, King Kosala had two chief queens and many other ladies in the palace. But they are not so fortunate like other poor ladies. Huh? Other poor ladies had freedom to go to Jetwana temple or other temples and listen to the Dhamma, Buddha's Dhamma, to see the Buddha and listen to Buddha's teaching. They had the opportunity because they are free. They were free. They used to go. But these queens uh, and consorts, they had no freedom to go uh, to uh, Jetwana temple. Uh, so they told the king, King Kosala, uh, if we can get a monk who can preach the Dhamma, uh, come to the palace and preach the Dhamma. Uh, it is beneficial for us. Uh, especially there was a very famous queen, Queen Malika, very intelligent also. She is the one uh, especially requested uh, to get a monk to preach, go to the palace and preach. Um, so they had a choice also. They asked King Kosara um, to arrange Venerable Ananda to go and preach. So when King Kosala approached the Buddha, uh, because of King Kosala's request, actually that request came from uh, ladies of the palace, uh, because of that request, the Buddha asked Venerable Ananda to uh, visit palace occasionally and uh, preach the Dhamma. So he became a very popular person. And uh, the ladies of the palace had so much respect. So one day they made a very great offering uh, to Venerable Ananda. There were 500 ladies in that group. Everybody 
made an offering. Uh, you know, they are, they were royal people. So they used very valuable uh, materials for their clothing. Uh, everybody had very valuable materials. Uh, so they offered Venerable Ananda in order to show his, uh, their uh, gratitude. Uh, very valuable uh, materials, clothes to Venerable Ananda. So 500 means he got 500 pieces. Huh? Uh, Venerable Ananda accepted and taken to the uh, Vihara. So, King Kosala was quite puzzled about that. One month, 500 uh, materials, pieces of material he received, taken. Why he took? Uh, this is actually quite common to lay people also. Sometimes some people may think the monks in Buddhist library receive hundreds of robes. Uh, what are they going to do with this? We can do two things. One, we can, not three things. One, we can use. But how to use about 300 uh, ropes, one day one, one day one. Huh? So recycling cannot be done. Uh, if not, we can sell. Huh? Go to a shop where people sell. We can sell. The third thing is we can uh, we can give others. Huh? So it's not that we want to boast. I want to say this for your happiness also. I have been receiving. We have been receiving hundreds of robes all these years. Huh? Uh, but so far, I haven't sold even one rope. Huh? <laughs> uh, but I did not use also so many. Huh? I still have some robes, uh, color faded, but occasionally I use, of course, at night I like to use, because they are very comfortable. Older the better. Huh? Old shoes are also very good. Huh? When Prince Charles married to that lady, what's her name? Diana. Not Diana. Lady, huh? Huh? Camellia. Camellia. Camellia or what? Camellia. Uh, so somebody said, all, all shoes are very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's another thing. Huh? The all robes are very comfortable. Uh, I have at least about seven years, eight years, sometimes even ten years old robes also. Uh, so King Kosala was very curious to know what Ananda was wanted to do about robes. So he questioned from Ananda, when but sir, you have received uh, so many offerings, so uh, materials, suffering, you are only one monk, what are you doing with this? Then uh, he said, one thing he, give, he do is give others. So when my, then he asked number of questions. When you use robes, how do you use? Uh, when Balananda said, uh, we use quite long time. Uh, so after using for a long time, when robes are faded and old, come to a time to discard, what do you do? Then Venerable Ananda said, we uh, use for bed sheets. Uh, uh, we can use them for bed sheets. Uh, we can 
also as bed sheets and use. Uh, when you are unable to use as bed sheets or to cover beds, uh, what what are you going to do with that? Then we cut those torn materials into smaller pieces. We make uh, like uh, floor mats. Huh? So when uh, when floor mats are older and difficult to use as floor mats, do you have any way to use them? Then he said, yes. We take them and use for walls. When we make kutis, simple kutis, but Paramita don't have that kind of kutis. Huh? <laughs> uh, when we have for our kutis, simple kutis, we use, we put them, we mix them with uh, mud. We mix with mud and use for making walls. So like this, uh, we recycle them in many ways. We don't waste them. Uh, we make use of them uh, whatever the way we can use. Uh, so King was very happy with Venerable Ananda's explanation and praised him for the way they use uh, robes. Huh? Uh, so uh, recycling is not something new, but today recycling is in a way, uh, to some people it is a fashion. Huh? Uh, so uh, even there are some societies huh? uh, to be a president, I, I don't, I am not criticizing, but to some people be a president, secretary or member of recycling society brings very uh, very strong pride, huh? but we should do that not for pride uh, or to show other people, but uh, in order to provide uh, environment, more importantly for our survival. Huh? If we do not pay much attention towards uh, recycling and save the save things in this world, uh, we will uh, face a lot of difficulties. Environment will be very bad. Uh, and we will get negative results of that. So, uh, the Buddha has given, Buddha's disciples has given this great example about recycling. Actually, uh, being a so president, secretary or anybody in a society should not be a reason to be proud. What is important is we should be happy um, to use recycling things and we have to keep in mind we are helping others indirectly by using that. If we can come to that kind of understanding and practice recycling, uh, it will be very helpful. Uh, so, uh, that's all I want to say about recycling. Uh, actually, there are many things in uh, Buddhist texts uh, we can find. Uh, some teaching related to uh, saving things and simplicity and simple life. Uh, simple life we all have to. The time has come for us to think of uh, uh, simple life. If we want to let next generation and next generation, future generation to in this uh, uh, earth, uh, on this earth, uh, but some
some people think uh, when science and technology is advanced, we may be able to find another planet and can go there. Huh? <laughs> but it won't happen in our lifetime. Uh, that's not the right way. Huh? We go and destroy another planet. Huh? <laughs> So that's all I want.